afternoon. Good morning. So today is Wednesday, January 27th. So we dropped the truck off on Monday um, and they had to keep it for two days because they found some problems. So we got our new steer tires on. We've got our two new drive tires right here and all new trailer tires. Um, so I had them do the inspection on the trailer um, and I asked them to look over everything while they while it was there. So one of the axles was out of the cradle. I don't know what that means, but uh, they basically had to cut the U-bolts off of it, slide one of the axles around and re-bolt it back down. And then remember how I told you guys one of the axles were, were uh, there was no oil in it. Well, they said there was two, two of them that didn't have any oil and they were leaking. So basically they had to replace the seals on, I don't know which ones it was. I guess I should have probably asked them. I guess I could always call them so I know for the future. Anyways, when the seals let go, um, it drenched the, the brake pads. So I was thinking these trailers were different than the cheapo big tech trailers that we buy. But evidently when these seals go bad, it destroys the brake pads as well. So they had to replace the seals and the brake pads and they had to reseat the, the, um, the axle. Now, originally it was gonna be $650 to get the tires put on, but after, after them having to do the seals and everything else, it ended up being, uh, oh, and the inspection on the trailer, ended up being a little over $1,300. So I was a little sticker shocked there. Um, I've ordered, uh, I don't know if I told you guys, so this is an eight foot toolbox um, and they're super expensive. I don't have time and I don't wanna mess with the doors right now. Maybe in the future, later on down the road, I'll figure out maybe a door situation. But instead of ordering eight foot, I've ordered two four foots. Those should be here, I think, Saturday. Um, and then basically there's a there's a middle piece here. So I'm hoping one one toolbox comes to the middle of one and, and then the other toolbox comes to the middle of it as well. I'll bolt them together in the middle and then I'll use these same bolts like they have here and we'll bolt them to this here. Um, I had them uh, put all the tires that were still in decent shape. I, you know, I, I didn't tell them to keep the drive tires on here. I don't, or the steer tires. I don't know why they did that. They probably charged me for disposing of these, and then they put them back on the trailer. That's a good trailer tire. Good trailer tire. Good trailer tire. Good trailer tire. So if we ever have any problems, I can come home. You know, I thought about maybe thinking of a way I could bring one with me, but then I have to move tires around and deal with all that mess. We'll probably just keep them at home. If I come home and I notice there's something wrong with the tire or one's wearing funny or whatever, and we can take it up and get it swapped out. Um, also, um, I've bought one of those step toolboxes here. Um, I guess I could walk up here and show you guys. It's kind of a mess right now because I can't put anything away. I still have to fix one of these tarps. Yeah, I know there's still, it's, it's been raining all day today. It rained all day yesterday. All it does is all it does is rain when I when I'm home and I'm trying to get stuff done. So, anyways, this is uh, we got all new chains and binders here. We got all our straps here. That's the box. That's the old bed. I know it, I, it. It's a mess. I have to get out here and clean this up. Anyways, these are the brackets in the toolbox that I bought. Like I said, I, I was hoping I could stick my little uh, generator down in here, um, but it won't fit. I don't know if I can take the side covers off of it. And slide it down in there anyways I fitted these brackets or I, I stuck these brackets on and I went and I did some measuring and none of the bolt holes are gonna line up you're not supposed to you're not supposed to drill or weld into a semi frame um, ask me how I know so what my plan is to get this to work is I bought a uh, piece of um, metal four foot metal stock and what I'll do is I'm gonna cut this thing in half and then I'll drill the holes where there's already holes for this 
and then I'll bolt this to the frame and then I'll weld that to this so we're not technically welding to the frame and they can't hit me for it so that's the plan anyways and then uh, that'll give us an extra toolbox right here like I said I planned on putting uh, the generator in here so we'll, we'll probably just have to put the generator I don't know strap it down to the catwalk or something I want to get a bigger generator because um, I don't think that generator is going to be big enough to run everything that we want to run like if we're stopped for the weekend we want to run the, the microwave which it'll run the microwave and everything but it won't run um, everything at once basically if we're, if we're trying to use the computer we'll have to not use the computer and plug in the microwave so on and so forth we, we do have the inverter so I guess I could use the inverter as well if we have to do that but uh, yeah that's pretty much it uh, we got our IFTA stickers in today uh, still no word on our tag they said it could take up to five business days on that so hopefully that comes in soon that's basically all we're waiting on at this point is our tag um, it's it's been a nightmare because we started this before Christmas and then the government shut down the IRS shut down um, till January something and then it's like you can't get one thing without the other we can't get our Kentucky numbers without our plate with our our, our um, license plate number um, I don't know it's it's been a mess so I'm gonna work on this today I want to get that uh, toolbox on and mounted I don't know if I'll have enough hours in the day today to do it but uh, We'll definitely get it done and uh, I'll show you guys I'll show you guys what's up um, I don't know if I'll be able to film anything like I said it's raining so I don't know all right let me get to work all right so we got those two flat bars cut drilled and bolted now what I'll do is I'll take my uh, toolbox and I'll hold it up here we'll mark it out where we have to do it and then we'll weld to these instead of bolting or welding to the frame Alright, so now we've got the uh, toolbox temporarily mounted to the brackets. I pulled my uh, car jack out there. I'm going to set this on the car jack and we'll lift it into place and mark everything out to be welded. Alright, so now we're just trying to test fit it, and what I'll do, um, I need to make sure it's not lower than that fuel tank, or lower than anything else. I want to try to bring this flush to the top of this. I've got one of these bolts sticking out down there. I'll probably just cut that off flush, that doesn't have to be, uh, that doesn't have to be that long, and then I'll... Then it'll allow me to butt it up and then we can mark out where these C channels will hit that. Um, it looks like it, this is going to have to come all the way over in order for it to hit on both sides. Alright, so I uh, held the uh, toolbox up there where I wanted it. Marked out my plates where I need to... I'm going to go ahead and probably tack these on. And then it uh, wasn't that easy to mark this as I... As I it's, hoping it would be anyways we're gonna take those we're gonna tack those things on now test fit it if everything looks good then we'll weld it up all right there it is uh, temporarily tacked in place um, I think it's gonna work I think we're gonna go ahead and weld that up this toolbox is gonna have to push this uh, fender in just a little bit in order to fit because we had that that funky bolt right there so it'll push this in just a little bit, but I think that'll be all right. And then these will twist out and allow that toolbox to go in. Well, there it is. It's not perfect by any means. In fact, this one is too far that way a little bit. So tomorrow, because I'm running out of daylight here, 
I'm gonna pull this back off. I'm gonna paint this all up. Um, actually, when I pull this off, this needs to slide over a little bit. I don't know how it got messed up. Honestly, I have no idea. I'm not a, uh, I'm not a fabricator. I don't do this for a living. Um, if I did, I would be amazing at it. But uh, I don't know. I'm kind of happy with it. You can see it's kind of cockeyed. Just a little bit. Oh, oh well. I don't think anybody's going to run up and put a level on anything. I think... Uh, yeah, see, this side's up a little bit. So once I... It's not bolted down. I don't want to... I'll probably throw a couple bolts in it just so nobody walks off with it tonight. Um, then we'll paint it up in the morning and then bolt it down again. All right. It is now... You know, I just looked at my phone so I would be prepared. It's Thursday, January 28th. Um, so we had a little bit of a mishap last night after I left you guys. Um, we were talking about this step toolbox that I installed. So I set the camera down and I put the uh, step up in its place. Oh, I got the generator mounted too, by the way. I set the step up. And uh, I was climbing up and down, kind of bouncing on everything, making sure everything was going to be okay, right? And <clears throat> I don't have the toolbox bolted down at this point, but I, you know, I'm careful and I'm holding on to this and I'm, I'm stepping up to it and I go up there and then I start stepping back and I forget that it isn't bolted and the whole toolbox flips back on me. I fall and hit my chest on the toolbox and I, I don't know what I hit my elbow on but it's it, it's banged up pretty good I um, I didn't sleep very good last night because of it I can't really extend it all the way it's it's pretty sore uh, I would say it's um, it's it's swollen a good bit too so I don't think it's broken I did think I broke it last night, but I, I can definitely move it. So, ah, I just, you know, getting in a dang hurry. Anyway, so we've got the uh, generator mounted now. I tried to take the side covers off. I locked this because I put my drill in it. Um, is this the right key? No, those aren't even these keys to this box. What am I doing? Anyways, I don't think I have the keys on me. What did I do with the keys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got them on me. I got them on me. So, tried to, uh, I'm an idiot. This is hard to do one-handed. Y'all stop laughing at me. All right. Now we're unlocked. All right. <clears throat> so I tried to take these covers off and slip it down in here. It, it's just not going to fit. It's not going to work. So this might turn into um, like my blanket box. I might fill this thing up with my moving blankets. Um, and then um, I've got this. I've got this toolbox unbolted, waiting for the new toolboxes that should be here tomorrow. Um, and then I've went, I've, I've started going through all these toolboxes, getting everything together, seeing what we have. Um, this box back here, I'm going to have to do something different with, but we're going to just use it the way it is for now because I've spent too much money already. So I went through and I've uh, sorted, this is going to be all my bungees and my corners. And these are all the corners that, uh, that came with this trailer. They're, they're like plastic angles. Those are what we had in the Ford. Had I known there was that many in this trailer, I wouldn't have bought, I bought another stack of this size right here, of these corners. And then I've obviously got some more stranded up there. And then these are the bungees that we have for everything. And then, uh, ooh, man, my elbow's really, really sore. I gotta do something about that. Thing about putting maybe like a lock hasp on it so I can lock this so people can't get in there and steal anything. 
Um, it was pretty cold this morning too, so I haven't really been too motivated to do anything. That on top of my my elbow is just my elbow. My elbow's jacked up. It's um. Anyways, so Lita uh, texted me this morning. Um, I haven't seen her. Where did that come from? This is like a, a reflector. And these bolts, where did these bolts and all come from? Anyways, mom might be getting out of the hospital tomorrow. So everything's going good. Her, uh, her stem cell surgery went good. Um, man, I haven't seen Lita in over a month. It's, uh, man, I can't wait to see her. So, yeah, Mom might be coming home tomorrow. It'll be nice to see her too, but... Anyways, everything went good. Her white blood cell count's starting to go back up again. So, we're waiting on the doctor to come in and tell him, uh... So there's like a, a, a doctor's helper and then there's like the main doctor. And the doctor's helper's like, yeah, I think you guys can go home tomorrow. So tomorrow being, yeah, would be tomorrow. So, man, I can't wait. Uh, there's another toolbox we're going through. I'm trying to sort through all these straps to see what's good and what's bad. Uh, what else are we doing? I need to wire. I need to run the wire extension cord from this up into the cab permanently and then man ups i don't know if i'm getting anything from ups or not i don't know it's um man my my elbow's really jacked up i'm trying not to stress it I'm trying to let it uh just kind of heal uh, told you guys yesterday we got our ifta stickers still no word on my plate i need to run up to ups and see if if they have my plate and then we'll uh and we got more mail again. Alright. I don't want to babble bore you guys to death. We'll see you later. Alright guys. We got our toolboxes in. Honestly I didn't film any of this. Because I thought it would just be a quick swap out. No big deal. And I could just show you the finished product. But we've ran into a few, few issues here. Um... So there's one of the new toolboxes and the old one and as you can see there's a little bit of a size difference so I thought I ordered the exact same size but you know me I always screw something up so what I've had to do is uh, I've had to unbolt this bracket here this one was with this trailer and I had to notch it to drop it down that little bit and then uh, this piece was different, so I couldn't notch it. And whoever made this, they you can see they didn't weld it perfectly square. So what I've had to do is make my own. I had this metal laying around from the Big Tex. <clears throat> so I just went ahead and pre-notched it and welded it up real fast. And then this piece right here will bolt where that old piece went. And it will be between how centered up for both the toolboxes so that corner sits on it and this next one will sit on that that one bolts to this plastic thing that they drop down because as you can see they curved the trailer up as they were making it so you can't put a bracket over there like it was over here so that's basically what's happening I thought I could just unbolt this slide my toolboxes in bolt them down and just show you guys the finished product so I haven't been uh, I haven't been filming any of this so Lita's coming home today and I'm trying to get this done so I can get it all out of the road and my neighbors don't hate me anymore um, yeah so uh, there it is oh another thing one of these toolboxes came and the door was off and the rivets were broken so I had to re-rivet one of these on I don't remember which one maybe this one I don't know all right, well, let me get this other one bolted on and we're gonna go get lead it today. All right, so there it is with the, uh, this bracket will carry this box and the next box. Um, I'm using all the existing hardware that they had. 
and it looks like this bolt's going to be a little bit too long it looks like it could have gotten a little wider of a box um but it'll be all right honestly when i measured i think i measured because they came down with some angles here actually i think i just measured the box i could have swore i got the same size of this box so it's kind of been a pain in the butt dropping this down because it's a little bit bigger but it'll be nice because it's a little bit bigger that's what she said or he said so hopefully uh hopefully everything works out all right right here um they got a lifetime warranty on them i think i paid uh 600 bucks for both boxes six something shipped so i was a little upset when i seen that the uh, door was broken already but it was like magic i had the same size rivets and everything so it's like it was meant to be and then i don't know if i showed you guys this over here or not since we couldn't get the generator in this toolbox i just folded up all my blankets and put them in this toolbox in there and then maybe later on I'll figure something out. Maybe I'll put a door on the back of this thing. I don't know. Who knows? Those are really nice to have, though. I don't have all the bolts and I'm gonna have to go get some more washers I ran out of washers but uh, man I think that looks good huh this trailer's really coming along and I bought a uh, lock clasp thing I got to put on that still but I don't want to get into something uh, too crazy here because I got to go pick up Lita here in a little bit probably finish this up uh, let's see today is Friday I think yeah today's Friday but um, so I'll probably work on this a little bit tomorrow morning. Um, I got a bunch of buddies that are drag racing tomorrow, so I haven't seen them in forever. So if I can talk Lita into it, which it's not hard. Lita loves going to them drag races just as much as me. Um, we'll be going to that. So, man, that, that, uh, that looks really good. I am... I'm stoked about that. I was worried I had to take this plastic piece off because the way the angle was coming in, it wouldn't let me do it. So I had to unbolt that and then bolt it all back together. But, uh, man, I'm super stoked about that. I got some more boxes that lock. Um, I don't have the key for the other box, but you can, uh, you can drill these out and replace these. So I'll probably do that on the other side. I'm stoked about that though. That uh, I turned out really good. I got to get those metal shavings out or else they'll rust. All right, guys. That's going to be it for today. I'm going to clean up. And uh, I need to run back up to UPS and see if my plate came in. I can't believe it's taken so long. I mean, it was, uh, it was, before, it was before Christmas we started all this. And, I mean, it's given me time to make the trailer really nice, but at the same time, I'm going broke, you know? I'm going broke. So, I don't know. We'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. It is February 1st, and it is Monday, and we still don't have our tags.